and welcome to Home of Scares. What would you do if a ghost laid on your legs at night and it helped you sleep? If you like this type of content, then don't forget to subscribe. Now, turn off your lights, sit back, and get ready to be possessed. Welsh pub ghost hung for rape on the ground. Comforting me in my sleep. Submitted by Chrissy Michaela 96. So, when I was around five years old, myself and my family moved from Essex, England to Wales, where my parents became the landlords of a very old and very big pub inn called the Golden Lion. You can find this pub online. It is under new management and is still around today. The pub was infamously haunted. My parents kept this from us kids and we only found out about 10 years ago. A handful of the activities include my mom putting the chairs on the table at the end of the night, going upstairs where we lived. She heard banging and went back downstairs Believing there was an intruder, some of the chairs had been returned off the table and under the table. She shouted my dad to come downstairs and when they returned to investigate, the chairs were back on the top of the tables. Another activity was that glasses on the shelves behind the bar would simultaneously slide off and drop in mid-air. However, my personal experience of this ghost was much more haunting. I have a vivid memory of my mother standing in my doorway, leaning against the door frame, a dark silhouette lit by the hallway light. It used to bring me comfort. I would pretend to be asleep. Then she would come and sit on my legs. I still sometimes put books on my legs because I find it comforting due to this. However, it turns out that when I've spoken to my mum about this years later, she reveals that she never once did any of this and that she vividly remembers me telling her about this as an infant. She knew it was the ghost, but did not tell me, or I wouldn't have slept. Apparently, this ghost was hanged in what is now the car park of the inn in Old Wales especially the public houses, pubs, were used as more or less village meeting places 
and people were often trialled and hung there. To this day, I still believe that the ghost was innocent, or else how would I feel comfort from him, and why else would I not feel scared in his presence? What are your thoughts? Haunting in Italy, submitted by Zianica. I had something happen to me over 20 years ago when I lived in Italy. I'm a sensitive and have always been able to sense things. But this was way beyond anything I had ever experienced before. I lived in the servants' quarters of a 300-year-old castle with my husband and baby. Our building was behind the castle and our apartment was upstairs. We had three bedrooms and it was very spacious. My first experience was when I was feeding the baby after my husband had gone to work early in the morning. I was looking up at the ceiling and the light fixture that was hanging down by a cord just moved up and down. My first thought was we must have mice. I didn't think anything about it until I was in the bathroom and the toilet flushed by itself after the lights would turn off and I began to think the place was haunted. It wasn't until early one morning that things took a turn for the frightening. My husband left for work and I heard the heavy wooden front door slam shut. I was half asleep in bed and thought my husband must have forgotten something. I could hear footsteps come into the bedroom and then I felt someone sit on the side of the bed. My back was towards the side of the bed so I rolled over expecting my husband to be there but no one was there. I freaked out and jumped out of bed. I didn't go back in the bedroom all day even had my husband move the bed across the room when he came home that day he thought I was nuts but did it to make me happy then a few weeks later I heard the front door slam again after my husband had left for work I was awoken and could hear footsteps coming towards the bedroom I couldn't move and I was paralysed. I heard footsteps come into the bedroom and stop at the foot of my bed. I felt like something was just staring at me. But I couldn't speak or move. Then I must have passed out or fell back to sleep. When I woke up, I remembered what had happened though. Things kept happening. We would hear a bouncing ball on the baby monitor at night. I heard a child giggle in the baby's room when I was changing him one day. My husband didn't believe me until one night 
we went to check on the baby sleeping and it happened again the morning visits got to be a regular thing and I would just laugh them off until one night I was in bed and felt someone touching me it wasn't my husband because he was asleep next to me and I was facing him I was being groped and then I felt penetration I wasn't dreaming and I couldn't move either I was paralyzed after that my morning visitor got more brave and would walk around my room I managed to begin saying no a few times towards the end one time in the winter we had a heater go out and my husband was relighting it I heard a wolf whistle in my ear the last morning there I had my bags packed that night and sitting by the bedroom door my morning visitor came in as usual and stopped at my bedroom door upon seeing my bags packed there he let out a blood curdling scream and stormed out with loud footsteps I will never forget it I have never been visited by anything like this ever since but I wanted to share this experience and see if anyone else has had anything similar happen to them edit there was many things that scared me up to the point of that scream but I've never experienced living in a haunted place before and found it to be exciting to see what would happen next I never expected to be raped or violated in that way and I wasn't able to bring myself to tell my husband because I knew he'd never believe me he had already expressed how hard it was to believe things that I'd told him were happening already and the last morning I was there was the worst hearing my morning visitor come in and stop at my door I was paralyzed in bed but managed to croak out no before he screamed at me I was just so glad to be gone from that place after that I often wonder now years later if it was a malicious spirit or a demon that was there I have no idea now if you enjoyed tonight's stories then like share and subscribe now try not to get possessed also you can follow me on instagram horrorman19872